Hi there, my name is Ryan and I'm one of the support and education engineers here at Woopra and in this video I'll be covering our WordPress integration. I'll share some best practices and specifically in this video I'll show you how to install the integration and show you some examples of how you can track form submissions and identify users. So what are the things you need to get started? First off, you'll need a WordPress business account. This account allows you to install plugins which are needed to install the integration. Secondly, there are a couple of other plugins we do recommend. For any form submissions, we recommend either Contact Form 7 or Gravity Forms. For our example, we'll be using Contact Form 7, which I'll link to in the video's description. Thirdly, we're going to be using the Theme Editor plugin to easily edit the header.php file in WordPress. And lastly, we do recommend having a developer help with the tracking. While having a developer is not necessary for installing the basic integration, you may need a developer to help track custom events. Great, so now that we have all the recommended prerequisites, I'll first show you how to install the integration. Once you are logged into WordPress, you'll navigate to the Plugin tab and search for the Woopra plugin. Once you locate the plugin, you can click Install Now or you can click More Details and then click the Install at the bottom. Once the plugin is installed, you'll need to activate it. You can either click Activate it or navigate to your list of installed plugins and then click Activate. It will then show your plugin is activated and you can now configure the plugin. You can again navigate to the Wooper plugin and select Settings. Here, you can select and configure your settings for the plugin. It's important to make sure your correct domain is entered under the Track As section. You can then configure the plugin to suit your tracking needs. Certain things can be automatically tracked such as page views, download tracking, search queries, signups, and article tracking. Other custom events or other ways of identifying users will need to be added manually using our Wooper.Track and our Wooper.Identify functions which I'll also link to in the description. For custom events, you or your developer can add these custom events under the Other Events Tracking Configuration section. For identifying users on other things like forms, you can add this code to the header.php file which I'll show you an example of how you can do that next. So now that we have it configured to how we want, we can save these changes and now add the form tracking and identifying code to track and identify users who submit a contact form. To do this, we've already installed the Theme Editor plugin and also the Contact Form 7 plugin, which we're going to be using on our page. I'll navigate to the Theme Editor and then locate the header.php file, which we'll be editing. Once that's located, I'm going to insert some code right after the WP underscore head position and paste in our snippet. You can find this example snippet in our links in the video's description. I'll go ahead and update this file and there's one more step and that's to test it out. First we'll navigate to our site and maybe do a couple page views. Next we'll open up the Wooper instance, navigate to our people reports, and locate ourselves. There's a couple ways to do this like creating a segment that looks for our specific IP address or location but I'll simply do a quick refresh and look at the recent profiles and open up the newest one. We can then expand the first session to confirm that this is us and it looks like we're located so we can then go to our site and test out the form. We'll navigate to our site and then let's enter some contact information to see if we're being correctly identified and if the form submission event is going through. I'll go ahead and enter some test information add a quick message, and hit submit. We can then navigate back to Woopra and let's refresh this profile. Click the ellipsis and refresh. Perfect, so now we see that we are being correctly identified and this profile was updated with my name and email. We can also see the form submission event along with our message. And that'll do it. We successfully installed the WordPress integration and now we're identifying users who submit contact forms. Again, I'll leave the links in the video's description. And if you have any questions, be sure to contact us at support at Thanks.